Hello, welcome to Nadi's Kitchen. Today I came up with another Kannur special recipe, Jaggery Sweetened Kalthapam. They are super easy to make with very minimal ingredients. Perfect with your evening cup of tea. Let's see how to make it. We'll start by soaking 1 cup of Jeeragashala rice. That is small grain biryani rice. This rice tastes great for this kalthapam, so try to use them. If you can't find them, use regular white rice or basmati rice. Wash them thoroughly and soak for minimum 1 hour. Then we need shallots, that is pearl onion. I took 5 shallots here. If you can't find them, use regular onion. Finally chop them and keep them aside. Then we need chopped coconuts. Make sure you use them. That bites of coconut gives great taste to our kalatapam. Here I have taken about quarter cup of chopped coconuts. Now take soaked rice to a blender. Then add half cup of cooked rice, 3 to 4 cardamom, salt to taste and 3 4 cup of water. Grind them smoothly and transfer them to a bowl. Now to sweeten our kalthapam, I have taken 250 gram of jaggery in a saucepan and add another 3 4 cup of water to it and we need to melt them completely. Now strain and add melted jaggery directly to the ground rice. Make sure we need hot jaggery here. Take directly from the stove and add them to the rice. Mix immediately and add quarter teaspoon of baking soda and again mix for another good 2 minutes. Meanwhile, heat a pressure cooker and add 2 tablespoons of ghee. Then add chopped coconuts and shallots. Fry them until onion became light brown. Now slowly add our rice jaggery mixture. Now keep the flame on sim. Now slowly spread fried onion coconut bites so that you can get them evenly on top. Close the lid without pressure button and cook for 15 to 20 minutes or until skewers comes out clean. My kalthapam cooked around 18 minutes so check at 15 minutes and if it did not cook well you can cook for another 5 minutes. Switch off the flame and close the lid and keep them for another 15 minutes. Then run a knife around and take them out of the pressure cooker. See how beautifully it came out. And cool them out completely before you cut them. Our tasty kalthapam is ready to enjoy now. Now let's see how it look inside. See these lines? That is an indication of perfect kalthapam. If you follow exact measurement and instruction, you can always get perfect kalthapam like this. Please do try and let me know the feedback. Thank you so much for watching. It's me Nadira signing off for today. See you next week. Until then take care.